right. Oh, I didn't know to salute. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Uh, we are coming to you a little bit early before NA to kind of uh, get excited about the finals for the regions. And uh, Raptor and I were talking about this the other day. We said, hey, you know, we've got a nice big gap uh, in, uh, in time between EU and NA. So let's fill it with something. And we've always been talking about let's revisit some old COTS, King of the Sea uh, games. So here we are. Hi, Raptor. <laughs> How's it going, Zath? How was EU this morning? How how were the games? Putin sounded kind of disappointed there at the end. Like that Stalingrad mm -hmm. Moscow thing was the best thing I saw all day. He, well, you know that's that's Putin. That, Putin is always <laughs> disappointed in something. Uh, the, the 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 best the best parts. And Putin, I love you. I know you're still here. Thank you very much, Putin. Um, but uh, you know, for for Putin, y you can you can tell how he is by how much he sighs. And it's great when there's that moment when he just goes, and he just he just exhales, and and you know <laughs> immediately what he's thinking. And especially because I used to play with him so so many times. Like every day, I'd come yeah. home and I'd load up ships and we'd play for like three hours until dinner time. Yeah. So yeah. you know, just like I I hang out with you too. So I mean, you know. Yep. Yep. I know what he's thinking. I know, you know, whatever. And some very interesting games. Oh my goodness. Some very interesting games this morning to get uh, to get the uh, the group stage wrapped up and now the bracket is formed for next weekend the playoffs. Is this the old Chinese proverb version of interesting? May you live in interesting times? I I mean, you know, sure. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um awesome. Well, I'm glad you guys had fun. I certainly enjoy hanging out and listening to you guys, right? It's um, it's still weird to me to hear you whenever you work with other casters. I'm kind of like, oh, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have made that choice, you know, but it's but it's it's fun because it's it's different in my mind. Um, made that choice being what do you mean? Well, like in terms of. This is what you and I talk about all the time. Hmm. Everybody views the game through a different lens. We talked and about that yesterday. In, yeah. And exactly. And when you step back and you're in a full spectator, this is the thing that I think is is different. Right. And and people who have not spent time in a training room or done this for the years that you and I have done it sometimes struggle a bit is that, you know, you're used to driving the ship and looking down the barrel of the guns and pew pew and the things. Mm -hmm. But when you pull the camera back and mm -hmm. you're just a you're just a, a a bird on the wind looking around going oh what are these guys doing down here mm -hmm. it's a different it's a different viewpoint but even then the different casters all bring something different whether it's right. how they drive the camera camera position things they focus on things they notice things they don't mm -hmm. notice mm -hmm. right and it's mm -hmm. fun for me to to watch other people do it and it, it's particularly interesting when i watch them work with you because you and i i, I know your style pretty well like we mm -hmm. we play off we, we do this a long time but when you mm -hmm. plug somebody else in there it's kind of like oh that's different i wouldn't have thought about doing that so it's 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 fun sometimes i get ideas right like yeah. i should challenge myself and do that like so yeah it's well, it's always it's it's always fun you know that's one of the things i do as a streamer i go and i look at other streams and, oh i like this and yes you know i saw something on another streamer's channel i reached out to one of my viewers who i saw in his channel i'm like all right tell mm -hmm. them to tell it to me straight do you like this or would you rather i continue the way i do it and he said continue right. the way you do it i'm like okay cool like yeah. little things like that it's it, yeah. you know we're always looking up our game and yeah. so i agree and you know when put and i first started doing this oh yeah mm -hmm rockiness uncertainty oh, speaking over you know you got to learn that ebb and flow well so. and you're gonna see some of that today ladies and gentlemen because we're gonna go <laughs> all the way back in the wayback machine to mm -hmm. king of the sea five the very 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 first time you and i ever worked together to cast a tournament that's gonna be entertaining it absolutely is so we we have we have isolated <laughs> three different <laughs> games to isolated. look at it's like it's like star trek speak right like I asked Raptor to isolate three different three different games on his three, YouTube. Three different gravimetric anomalies. That's right. That's right. And we will look at them all. You know, I was thinking something really funny, Raptor, about about the choices when we were talking about what what to do. And what I found so interesting is that this current season of King of the Sea is seventeen, mm -hmm. which is yeah. X V I I. What are we mm -hmm. looking at? We're looking at King of the Sea. 5 V we're looking at King of the Sea uh, 7 V I I and we're looking at King of the Sea 10 
X. X. So yeah. each of the letters from and we didn't we didn't plan that, but holy hell, does that no. look fun? I didn't <laughs> each plan of the that letters at all. Are it didn't even occur to me. So so to, to catch to catch the viewers up, right? About a year ago ish, probably a little more than that, I came up with this I, I had this idea, right? Like if you go mm. back on my YouTube channel, I literally have almost seven years of King of the Sea games available to watch. Some of them are really good games. Some of them are really not good games. <laughs> it depends, right? Yeah. There's like five or six hundred. So you, if you just go pick one at random, you're rolling the dice. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, some of these games stick in my mind because mm -hmm. even though they're five or six years old, they were crazy good games. Mm -hmm. um, and people who have come to the, 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 the tournament or warships or Twitch or whatever, after those, those were a thing, they may have never seen one of the best, most entertaining competitive games I've ever cast. I find that sad. And so from like the, I, the same, I, for the same reason that like, you know, if you go watch the NFL or MLB channels on cable, they will occasionally replay classic playoff games, right? From the seventies or the sixties or the eighties or whatever because they're amazingly good games, I thought, wouldn't it be fun to do mm -hmm. something similar? Like, let's mm -hmm. go back and, and cherry pick a few of these. I don't mm -hmm. expect people to go through and comb through and find all the good ones. We have a pretty good idea where they are. Let's go pull them off the list and show them to people and be like, yeah. you probably missed this, but look, isn't this cool? Or look at what look at what it looked like before. I mean, we're exactly. starting with King of the Sea Five. Oh man, it doesn't even look remotely the same. Planes I mean, everywhere. Planes everywhere, Zach. First of all, first of all, I, I don't know if you've got the video ready to go, but I've got the H first frame I'll, of it. Pop it I'll, up. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it going here. Hang on a minute. In the meantime, um, on my stream, and this is probably the case for you as well, Raptor. So I just want to mention it for both of our mm -hmm. channel sakes. We, of course, have COTS drops going, so you should be getting progress over there. The other big thing is because we're manage, we're, we're, we're planning on just hanging out, chatting, shooting the, shooting the ship, all that good stuff. Uh, we're not going to be worried about commercial breaks when they run, when they don't. They will run when they will run. So the yeah, reason we'll I'm saying that... Yeah, we'll do it once that, the games start. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I figure... Right now, I don't care about the ads. We'll deal with it when the games start. Then I'll care. Bingo. Bingo. So because of that, I want to mention both Raptor and I are streaming on YouTube as well. So the enlightened approach to this is have either both of our Twitch channels up and or have one Twitch and one YouTube up so that if you see commercials on one channel, you can flip to the other or have three up so that you're, you're you know, triple safe from commercials. Mark yourself safe from commercials. But, you know, whatever you want to do, just I just want to put that out there right now because I, I know there's gonna be some people upset that, that they're seeing commercials and they're not hearing us talk. So I, I wanna put that out there. There's something you can do to magically fix a lot of that. Or you can subscribe to both of our channels. It would be fun too, but mm -hmm. just staying, okay? Mm -hmm. I like to get the administrative stuff out of the way. You're good. Okay, so I'm. it's on my screen now with the first frame, first-ish frame showing just like you were talking about. So continue your thought. So I want you guys to look at this. We've got our five maps here. Look at how different Islands of Ice is. Oh, God. <laughs> look at how different Islands of Ice is. This is the yeah. second or third iteration. This is, I think it's this is the, the second third. iteration. of. This is the second. The second iteration of Islands of Ice. I, original Islands of Ice was on a diagonal. Yes, it was. A diagonal from the top left to the bottom right. And the bottom mm -hmm. right was that floating iceberg field. That yes, was the destroyer so insane. The yes, if destroyer you played playground. a destroyer, oh my god, that was amazing. And yes. the top left was like battleship alley. There was like a mm -hmm. corridor up through there with a break that you could turn and come back into mid. It was a mess. Um, so yeah, this is the second iteration of Islands of Ice. Okay, yeah, um, Wargaming has has uh, improved Islands of Ice so many times. To be quite honest, <laughs> so original... I almost spit out my drink. My bad. <laughs> I don't... The original Islands of Ice was the best. I really wish we could bring that back. You guys need to see the OG Islands of Ice. You had the, you had the Destroyer Playground in the bottom right corner. You had the Cruiser <sighs> Playground in the top left corner. And then yes. you had the, like, the big wide open area for the battleships to just slug it out. And back yeah. in closed alpha and closed beta days, that's exactly what happened. Because nobody understood anything about strategy. They didn't understand anything about stealth and torping. And, you know, nowadays, 
it would be very different. You'd have destroyers playing in the middle. You'd have battleships playing in the destroyer playground and in the in the cruiser playground. And you'd have the cruisers like way the hell in the back trying to play like peekaboo games. It would be wild to see how Islands of Ice would play out. Also, Raptor, yeah. in the original Islands of Ice, they had areas of shallows where only destroyers could go. Originally... That was that was an alpha thing. That was an alpha thing. thing. That was an, was an alpha, alpha thing. thing. And then they yeah, dropped it that. after after the closed beta weekends. They dropped it because they're like, you know, we kind of don't like the idea of so many battleships beaching because it looks like water on the map, but it really isn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, yep. and then look at all the text underneath this. This is like, did you write all this text? No, no, no. So remember, the map descriptions are taken out of either the game or the patch notes. Oh, These are the yeah, same yeah, yeah. map descriptions that we put on the map page on the wiki back in the day. That's so right. literally, this is just nothing more than a written description of, you know, what the map is based on, loosely based on. Now, the other yeah. thing, obviously, the look of the tournament in this era is very different. Oh, yeah. This King of the Sea 5 was the very, very first King of the Sea that ever took that ever included North America. The first four mm -hmm. iterations of the tournament were EU only. That's right. Um, and it wasn't like it, they were intentionally excluding us. It was just we had other things going on and they ran they ran this event as their tournament. And then yeah. in early 2017, this game was played in February. No, 18 February of 2018 is when this game you're about to see was played. Mm -hmm. um, they in early 2018, they invited the NA um uh, in a server to join the tournament, the old organizers of Supremacy League got together, put it, wrapped it up, and so on. And the graphics mm -hmm. were all done by, uh, in that era, I'm pretty sure Quadralist did all these graphics. Um, oh, that's a name I haven't heard of in a long time. He's the OG streamer not... streamer curse. <laughs> yeah. You get Quadralist <laughs> so, uh, casting yeah. your game, you're screwed. 100%, 100%. He was definitely known for that. So, um, <laughs> But he did a lot of our graphics work in the first, let's say, I think, five, six, and seven. And I think it wasn't until eight or nine that Wargaming started, their, their art department started to spend more effort and energy on the look of the tournament, standardizing the layouts and stuff. We were doing more and more work with them on their channels and so on and so forth. Yeah. Okay, well, we could talk about that forever. We could, we could. We could reminisce forever, but uh, I'm sure, chat, you guys want to see some video action. So uh, we're, we're going to get things ready. Uh, Raptor and I are both doing things a little bit differently, which is, I, mm -hmm. honestly, it's on purpose. We want to figure out what's going to work best for us. So please, chat, feedback, audio levels, very important. We haven't even had a chance to practice this or try it. So we're doing it live, baby. Let's go. Yeah. So are you ready to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a count or whatever. We'll figure it out. All right. So we're going to hit play in three, two, one, play. Transition to game. Indeed. This thing set up. Yep. Just did that. Now, are, are you guys? Are you still on the screen with the two of us on the side? Yes. OK, good. So guys, again, if you're watching, this is Sea Raptor. If you're watching my stream, type exclamation mark raffle. In I mean, just the let's look at the overlays. The overlays are so different. You know, listen to you like, talk. Um, and at the end of the game, I'll draw for a quick code. I had a crappy old, I had a crappy old microphone in this era. I was still on a headset boom mic. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And a should not matter what server you're on. Uh, but notice you can only see one side. Yeah. So, so two things. Uh, yep. Same team comps. Two things y'all want to point out. One is. We are only able to cast one side of the event. So from my camera, you're seeing my replay of the game. So this is all from the 07 side of the map. Zaf is actually on his stream is casting the PSV side of the map. We unfortunately, I don't think we have that game, that side of the game anymore. I think it's lost to time. I don't know. I might. But if you look on the side, you can see we're both in Eries. Wow. Me, Quadrilus yes. on their side, Raptor, and mm -hmm. Maru. Well, that's another name mm -hmm. I haven't seen in a while. Yep. We had to ram each yep. other at the start so that we could die so we could cast. Yep. And look at, and because both carriers, we're, both, we're in the old RTS carrier system, Hakuryu versus Midway, so much of the early game is based on fighter positioning mm. and spotting with fighters. You used the carrier planes to spot the enemy team as quickly as possible to know what they were doing and check out their deployment. And the meta back then was the Hakuryu because there were so many more yes. different squadrons that you can run. And if you'll note, Ten. this is 07. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Imagine trying to manage all that at once. I did Shokaku mm -hmm. in Supremacy League and I still have... Ooh. 
nightmares from Traumatized. That. Yes. Um, but if you look at it, Anumati, that's a name we haven't seen in a long time, is a super unicum in yep. uh, in a Midway. And you can see he midway. chooses Midway. And everybody's like, what the hell is wrong with those seven? Yeah. This was one of those, one of those, at the time, of course, you only had two choices. Hakuru, you're Midway. That was it. And yeah. almost everybody took Hakuru. But every now and then you'd see a team bring Midway. And it was a huge talking point, like, whoa, what are they doing differently? Um, and, and generally, because carrier damage, because carriers were prevalent, right? Everybody specced for AA. Almost all of these ships that can take defensive fire have defensive fire. Nobody's running hydro. And yeah, that's why Pulleys and Grozovoy there. Exactly. That's why you see ships like Grozovoy. Gear, the gearings in this match all have defensive fire, And for example. Yeah. And... And so on, and because the fighter, the the, the ability to spot with the extra squadrons on Hakuru you, you weren't using was largely considered the the, the, the super strength of the ship. Hakuru you could put up ten squadrons to Midway's six, so there was a lot more opportunity to spot with a Hakuru you. Right, but at the same time, there's so many things going on. Sometimes less is more, and I think yeah. that's why Anomati really liked the Midway. Also, the Midway bombers. Uh, really, we're actually pretty damn powerful. So, yeah. um, be able to break open flanks using midway strikes so as well. Another massive wide flank because that seems to Notice that we don't have consumable monitor. We can't see when Timmy in the Des Moines is radaring. We can't see Polycat mm -hmm. using his hydro, his defensive anti or his, his defensive anti I mean, his smoke, engine boost, any of that kind of stuff. Yeah. MF Jones, that's a name I remember. I'm not sure if 07. Ruslan Bear, William the Dank. And and one right. more voice you're hearing that's not us. That's our good buddy Sneaky Snake, who joined us to commentate the game. Sneaky Snake from the Supremacy League days. Mm -hmm. Yep. West, that even at tier 10, I don't think they're going to have the range. 8069. There's no smoke in BFK. BFK still around. He'd love to see this. Timmy, he would love to see this. Yeah, I doubt Dory <laughs> over in the Hakuria was a super unicorn for PSV. I remember facing him many times. Antelope mm -hmm. was, a, was a cruiser cruiser prodigy back then. And look yep. at that. Three Hindenburg. Four Hindenburgs. Darth Crater. 07 moves out to about an 80 point lead here was as five minutes of the match go by psv we needing saw, a win to stay in the tournament we saw earlier we saw that des moines go into b and yeah. make you know yeah. really regret it so we, we saw how that turned out for um who was that cuter cuter yeah yeah i only mention it because uh like you said there's only three ships for psv that are on the eastern side and i don't know if a des moines coming in um, it's some unexpected wow. angle would uh, give them an advantage. Look at all that firepower pushing up the one-two line. Look at the old graphics of firing their guns. And, uh, the oh, and the audio's completely changed. They're not oh, yeah. really focusing one ship over the other. I think they were on BFK, but it looks like they've lost sight of him now. Maybe you can't tell if the ships are spotted or not. Understand this. Yep, well, we can't tell, obviously. They can tell. Yeah, right, but we I have mean, no we... we have no idea what spotting what. Like trying to Look cast a game in this era was half guesswork. Something else to shoot mm -hmm. at. He's got a lot more HP, of course. There were a number of times where Raptor would say, "Zath, where is so and so?" And I would purposely gonna... say, "I'm not telling you. You'll find out like everybody else will." <laughs> you're, you're you're gonna see that. You're gonna see some of that in the second game. Happening here at sea. Yeah, Darth is in a position to smoke him up, um, and he's doing it, so that's good. The real, the real. Rislin, though. Yeah, the real action here is going to be north of A to see how 07 reacts to this this tremendous push of firepower up the edge of the map. Now this is the finals. This is a best of five, and 07 is up two to one, so they want this to win and be done. They're going to move. Yep. This is the very first North American finals in King of the Sea. And give him flank shots on those cruisers if they keep pushing. Mm-hmm. That sounds like a good and a prudent play to make for me. Or to me, I should say. 07 now out to about a 150 point lead here on the back of their early cap advantage. Nomadi is spotted, and I know he's not going to like that. Well, he's got a bomber over there north, north of him. Mm -hmm. His AA, his Midway's AA should handle that pretty effectively. Right. What a different era, us talking about carrier AA bubbles in King of the Sea. <laughs> yeah. fighters away. Yeah. True. And he's only got two, so. Exactly. In fact, here we see Dory going in on, on the torpedo bombers north of A as well. One time we screwed up the ram. Yeah, the time that I purposely trolled Raptor by going in reverse, and you were so upset mm -hmm. because you're like, you're I'm taking us out I'm, of the game. <laughs> I'm still not over it. <laughs> 
lose them all. Yeah. Now this this move that Pulley and, and Timmy are making, I've mm. I, I've always loved this maneuver, right? Mm -hmm. They because PSV has chosen this tactic on the map where they shove five ships up the one line. And so they've left the entire middle of the map open. 07 had set ships up near B thinking they were going to have to contest it. They aren't. And so halfway through the match, they're like, OK, they're not, we're not doing any good here. Let's go over here and be and be harassing jerks. Yep. And look what was heading towards A. <laughs> well, right. But because of the way that Dory's fighters are working the map, this is one of the few times in this era that a play like this got made without being spotted. Usually mm -hmm. you couldn't make plays like this because eventually the planes would stumble across you as you tried to change locations. It didn't happen here, and it made yep. what came next very, very fun. Yep. The other thing to keep in mind... Wait, here it comes. Watch what's about to happen to Mingyu. Did you just go yeah. there? Yeah, man. I see it. I see it. Wow. And here comes the torpedo yeah. strike crawling up William Stern as Mingyu is spotted. Ooh, this is bad. Mingyu is super caught out here. Look at all the ships shooting at, at Mingyu. Oh. You are dead, sir. Goodness bye gracious. Bye. Mingyu is dead. Boom. He had, well, he had no idea that Pulley and Timmy were there. Exactly. That's, that's almost a failure of spotting. Well, and from uh, this view, we had no idea that, that he was there either. He just showed up. Correct. We didn't know he was there. Mm -hmm. But they know he's there now. Yeah. And they also know that there is nobody. The other big thing with the RTS, don't forget. Cap. Fighters and any plane could spot torpedoes, which yes. was, a, was a big difference. Yep, so that's mm -hmm. part of why why you see a lot of, especially Hakuri, flying all over the map. He's looking for torpedoes. He's looking for mm -hmm. tips. Yes, he's looking for so strike craft he can take out. 2,000 HP. Whew. Very low. Look at, Dory's, look at Dory's positioning. I can't that's see terrible. him. I love that. Look at Dory's positioning. I can't see him. <laughs> right. right. Well, you're about to. I have a feeling. Okay. No. The reason I'm saying that is if really? Gets in you never see him? I mean, hmm. Nope. Well, Pulley has decided he's going to run north. In fact, what they're doing is they're swapping him out. Jones is now rotating south to, to, to comfort Timmy. We're going to bring his smoke down there and to keep Timmy smoked. Pulley Cat sure. is running north. He's, he's throwing. They're both. Wow. Pulley and Jones have timed this torpedo salvo. They've both launched torps at the exact same moment right into the teeth of this Montana and Hindenburg duo. Now, the spotter plane might hit, spot those torps. The timing of them is going to hurt somebody. Nope. You see the fire? No. The yeah. fighter clears out the bomber, and now the bomber, there's nothing there to spot the torps except, and yep. none of those Hindenburgs have hydro because there's a carrier in the game. Mm -hmm. But uh, 07 now to almost a 300 point lead as we cross the halfway mark of the match. Well, the only problem mm. for them is that they're obviously not going to be running hydro acoustic search in lieu of defensive. <laughs> yeah, AAs, Gamer so Wiz. Nope, so there's the smoke spot. went down finally. Yep. Got Pulley spotted now. Pulley. Shell's coming in. 2,000 HP. Gotta is it enough? Deal. Gotta get this kill on Pulley. Darth goes down. No, he... on the other side. Once again, Ooh. they put at least one GP. torpedo into Patelope as P uh, Pulley Cat drops to 579 hit points. Wow. Oh. And there he goes. Hi, Pulley. Conan bags. <laughs> Back before clans was but a thing, there were there was teams, World of Warships mm -hmm. teams or whatever. Uh, I was on a team with Pulley. Surviving destroyers. He wanted really? me in, yeah, he wanted me in the team because I had a Lexington and nobody else had a tier eight carrier at the time. He's gonna cap the bucket here really soon. <laughs> He back. is Ruslan. Yeah. Le Ruslan Good back catch. over at sea. His his knowledge of strategy and stuff was was really something special. Oh, good kill there. A kill as PSV yep. pulls back to within two, almost 200 points, but falling further behind on the loss of that cap advantage that they don't have. Now Timmy is just getting pushed aggressively by these Hindenburgs. They know they can crush him. Yep. They know he can't stop it. He well, smoked, Timmy but made he, a mistake. Timmy must be spotted, right? Yes, he smoke spotted. He fired out of the smoke, and that's a big mistake. He was too close to these guys. Now, Anumati now dropping torpedoes in front of Timmy, trying to dissuade this Hindenburg push. At least, or Montana at least slow it down. Love that. The teamwork, the level of teamwork with the RTS exactly. carrier is just huge. Looks yep. like Conan's going to... It, it, it took really someone a with Montana a very Spurs. special map awareness to, man, to, no, to work an RTS carrier in competitive... And look, he's dunking on the Hindenburg right now. The Hindenburg's mm -hmm. doing stay completely bow in, though. They can't even give. No, if they get, they can't, they cannot give pull, uh, Timmy even the slightest bit of, no. of There's angle. Torps or... from the other side. Uh oh. Yep, here comes Dory's torps on Timmy. Oh, and this is why Hakuryu, uh, one of the reasons, yeah, so Spiders is one. The other one is all the torp bombers and strike craft you can use. And and the torps and the torps hit hard. So even if you got a few of them through, they were impactful. Observe. <laughs> exactly. 
120, 150 points. But uh, Jones they, is still, spotted. they still only have one cap. Jones taking a torpedo strike here. No dice. He they did dump. He, stu he dumped torps in there, right down the not throat of those Hindenburg and Montana. Are they spotted? Yeah, they they're are. spotted. They're not okay. going to hit it on. Maybe Caxi. I think. I maybe think no. Gamer is going to take at least one, maybe two. Um. Yeah, the Monty's going to eat. Two. Monty's going to eat two. Yep, that's two torps. And then Caxi's clear. Caxi's now this is back when a when a permanent flood was a death knell. If you if you yes. took that flood after a DCP, yep. now. You, you're slowing down and you're dead. Gone. Yeah. Bye. And there was only one flood. You couldn't flood twice. Just one. Correct. But a flood, one flood took like 40% of your health. That's exactly you what had I was going to put say. it out. P Pentelope's about to go out. 850 HP. BFK's trying to get him off the board. Look at this. Is he going to get him? Man, it's close. 07 trying to hang on to victory here. They're this down ships. Disastrous. This would be huge. They do bag him. You know what else? You know what else is missing, Zaf? No score timer. Yeah. None of a lot of the mods is, that we is, use. All these mods that we use now to monitor the game didn't exist. At this point, Sparrow needs to get on the sea cap. But look how similar Warrior's Path is today. That's yeah, why I'm so they, bored playing on it, <laughs> casting it. Map well. really hasn't changed. Sparrow's got to get there. Now, they've they have do they have Anumati still spotted. Mm -hmm. Yes, they just spotted him again. All right, Jack Sparrow can shoot him, though. Yeah. Anumati realizes that dive bomber is the reason he's spotted. Sparrow continued to take him under fire. Caliber is spotted Oof. broadside to Jack Sparrow over at sea. 07 within 50 points of victory here, but things unraveling fast. Can they hold on to win here? PSV needs this win to force a game five. Oh, this is also before smoke fire Sparrow penalty, so Caliber here. could Correct. shoot from smoke. Two and a half kilometers away from somebody and never be well, detected but, in his Hindenburg. But Caliber's out. Caliber's behind the smoke. The planes are spotting him. Is it gonna matter? Will it be in time? I do not know. They need. A, I think. But they look at those torpedo. You could just barely make it out. I'm not even focusing it. But there's. But they just. He just cross torped Jones. When he dies, that's in the Groves of Boy. Yeah, I see that. that. Massive, massive misplay. Goodness gracious. But look at the score. 978. Yeah, but watch what's about to happen. Yep. Oh yeah. He's healing. He's trying. Within 20 points now, AP going out at Caliber. Sparrowed. Not a big enough hit on oh. Caliber. Oh, they get Jones. I'm extension. Oh, they get, the they get Jones. That's huge. Oh. <laughs> it buys up just a oh, tiny bit of time. but just a tiny bit of time because there goes Sparrowed. Is it enough serious wow. business driving for all he's worth for C? Is it enough? You got to get that Hindenburg. They've got to get, get the C. score. To yeah. Got to stop yeah, look at the score and the thing. fact that there's... Two Man, caps to one, but serious business is going to step on this cap. Time, he might. PSV no, 18 he points from victory. Is it enough? Can serious business stop this point gain in time? Here come the bombs. Here come the torps. 12 points separating 07 from the finals. Of a victory. Business takes a torp on the bow. 994. Slow him down. Two more Not ticks. Is time. it enough? I don't, I don't think so. I think he's going to get there, but I think it's going to cost him his ship. He's not. That torpedo he's not hit. He, he had to change course. Holy cow. Oh, man. A last second effort by PSV does not materialize, and 07 is going to the grand finals in the top seed. Back when we sorted by plane kills, because what else we sorted by use? plane kills. Wow. Yes. What a finish. <laughs> and look at the old ranked symbols. What a finish to this tournament. Mm -hmm. Man. I, I don't know about you guys. I couldn't keep up. <laughs> no, there was so much going on. So, so, four BF in my chat asks so the spectators could see what. That's the trick, right? Is that in this era, there were no spectators. The game, the training room. The reason that we're Zath and I and the, all the casters are sorted onto teams mm -hmm. is because the game treats us as being on Team Green or yep. Team Red. Yep. That's yep. it. There is no yep. middle ground. So yep. we zone into the match. We murder each other. Mm -hmm. We basically take our eeries and ram them into each other. Yep. And then uh, if you the, the way Wargaming had it done was you in this era, if you spawned into a training room in a tier one ship, you spawned point like nose to nose at about a kilometer off to the yep. side away from everybody else. Old W boom. on the Press W, boom. Now, the trick is not every single map had that particular quirk. Most Sometimes of them did, but not carriers. all of them did. 
Sometimes there were a handful of maps we had to use carriers on to murder ourselves, which was and really there irritating. Were, there were problems with that, okay? Most people would use Ryujo because you could, if you time it right, you bomb yourself, set yourself on fire, and then torp yourself and flood yourself, and both of your plane squadrons land right before you blow up. That's important. Because your plane squadron is still up, technically you are providing spotting information for whatever team you're on, which obviously causes problems. There were cases where a, a ram was failed or a, a death was, was failed, and so somebody had to shoot and team kill the, the, the caster so that that person would die. But of course now, that takes focus away from the original planning, the original positioning, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a whole heck of a thing. The other thing is, if you notice this entire video, you're spectating on Anumati's midway. And that's because when you spectate a ship, you can only see what that ship's vision cone is. That that over, not 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 their spotting range, but beyond that, the, the render range. So mm -hmm. we would always go and move the camera to the midway to cover that. Now, what Raptor usually does is he he does uh stuff and then goes into the game after he's already gotten himself killed so that you guys don't see it and it's very clean i always just said here you go watch us die <laughs> you know <laughs> whatever in this era the... mm. yeah yeah go ahead we, we can load the next one right in yeah. this era one of the things that i was most focused on was trying to get the tournament to look yep, as good as it right. possibly could hang on a minute let's get that out of the way to get the tournament to look as good as it possibly could and the way for me the way that happened was mm -hmm. covering up all the the warts of oh we had to ram each other that kind of thing the yeah. original the original iteration of the map intro videos was created specifically to hide that from people You're so that literally Exactly. So literally, we would be zoning into a game. The map intro would play. We would ram each other. And by the time the map intro was over, you'd have a nice, clean intro into the game. And you're right. You're, we're exactly about to see that. Look at that. Um, are you, you ready you to got go? The same, yeah, you got the same exact background. Yeah, I'm ready to go. So I do. I do. So, so, so this is we are now. This is now King of the Sea 7. Seven. seven. This is the NA quarterfinals. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of background on this. Mm. Um, King, Team Rip. Okay, RIP, mm -hmm. Dead Clans mm -hmm. United. Mm -hmm. This is late 2018, okay? This is now, we're now in October of 2018 for this iteration of King of the Sea. And all through 2018, the most dominant clan on NA was not 07. It was ZR. Yes. You remember ZR, Zath? Oh, okay. yes. So ZR was the victor in seasons two and three of mm -hmm. clan battles. Mm -hmm. And they also were the victors of King of the Sea 6, which took place in May of 2018. Mm -hmm. And by the fall, we were now down to another iteration of King of the Sea. And but ZR was struggling with attrition. They yes. had not really shut had, had either had a bad showing or no showing in season four um, of, of clan battles. And mm -hmm. they were unable to field a full team for this King of the Sea. Mm -hmm. So they basically um, rounded up a bunch of people and just threw together a team. Now, mm -hmm. their opponents, this is the NA top eight. This is NA quarterfinals. Their opponents, Buenos Noches, a team we know very well today, but this was their very first King of the Sea. And they made it all the way to the top eight, which is unusual, to put it lightly. You and I were mm -hmm. like, what is happening with these guys? Yeah, so they, they were a Latin American team, for one. And, mm -hmm. and at that point, at that time, everyone just, just crapped on Latin American teams. Come on, these guys 100%. are trash, blah, blah, blah. And they made it to eight and they shocked everybody because they're like, yes. how did these guys get here? What yeah. the heck? And what they, what? They did you were pay everybody really else? Good. Like, um, By they the way, really, trivia really question. Good. Do you remember the full Go. name of ZR, like the actual name of ZR? So I know I know what it translated to. It was absolute territory. I don't right. remember what the actual, there was, it's ZR is like the Japanese um, mm -hmm. characters. I don't know what they are exactly. Yeah, it was supposed to be the area between the, the knee-high socks and the bottom of the skirt of an uh, anime or, or what, when, I, whatever when, it is. When, when someone explained that to me, I, yeah. I my eyes rolled out of my head. I went, yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. All right, are you ready for the video? It was bad. Yes, give me a count and we'll go. All right, three, two, one, begin. Yep, we're Here dropping we right now. Oh, look at you with your giant headphones. Oh, you still have those. <laughs> <laughs> This idyllic setting will soon be shattered by the thunder of guns and flash of explosions, as only one fleet can be victorious. This so, this music might be copyrighted, so I'm going to turn it the volume probably way down. is that probably is this music is almost guaranteed to be copyrighted because in this era, 
Mm -hmm. I was not yet making any money doing this. I didn't care. I was more interested in like I'll I wanted everything. things to look and sound good. And mm -hmm. I was just like, I don't really care if I get, you know, copyright or they steal my money or whatever. It doesn't matter. And yes, chat, it was very frustrating to cast those games, but it was also very exciting. You heard the excitement in seeing things that happen at the last second because we didn't know it was going to happen. And I think that's something that's that's honestly been lost in casting King of the Sea to the point where I told Raptor, I said, you know, we do have the ability to control what side we see. Do you want to cover a game? We've Chat, talked you guys about can, it. You can talk. You can talk through if you like this idea. Do you want to cover a game just from one team's perspective and only see their vision mm -hmm. in 2024 just to kind of get an idea of what it might be like different? I'm all yeah, game for it. But... So I'll say this. There was a time not long after we we added the ability to see, you know, have God mode and see everything. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, that that where there were there were things, people that did that and they literally got yelled at by their own chat. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm yeah, happy to ask, though. So I want to ask. Yep. And All right. That, here that we go into be... the game. All right. Here we are in Sea of Fortune. Team lineup has not changed significantly. Yeah, that might be better suited for like for day one of Internationals or something. I don't know. Or we'll something. Yeah. Hindenburg, still running double stall. Maybe a game three of something. Yeah, mm -hmm. Montana, and sticking with Midway. Hey, little Kraken. How about the fact Sneaky Steak is in the game. Well, Just yeah. Sneaky's in this game. He's playing as a part of Dead Clans United. Yeah. Uh, right? But you're going to see SAT score, who we literally saw yesterday, right? He's on Patrick He's Paul on the app yeah. team. He's on Team Red. So Zombry. is... So is Zombri, and so is Storo and Daster. Yes, all recognizable names even today. Yes. This, this game is six years old. Six years. Or almost. Still call it Henri Catra. You still call it that. That's funny. So I think that's what they're doing. I think they're going to wait to deploy the Hindenburgs to see a little bit where these B and Stalingrads go, and then probably try and tag team one of them with a pair of Hindenburgs. Let's see what happens. Look at the the graphics yeah, on the bottom. Absolutely. How they've changed. It's gonna be. Mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna this be an this overlay was one of the first times I think King uh, Wargaming got involved in our overlay process because in King of the C five and six we did it all internally and then for King of the C seven this was the first time that we started they they got involved and I think this was actually also the first time you and I went to Austin to cast the NA finals was October of eighteen. That was like I said so magical. Very mm -hmm. He's got a lot of experience doing carrier in this format. Go ahead. So once again, Hakuri versus Midway. SAT score now being detected. Yep. Um, probably looks like he's using defensive fire. We, he needs to clear out these fighters as soon as possible. They'll be off the board momentarily between his between his AA and the fighter plane holding them there. Pierce Gearing works into the bottom end of C. Probably spotted. Yep, spotted there on uh, with his with his AA going. Yep. Dumping some torps, immediately bailing out of the cap. Absolute not willing to risk his ship for that, and I do not blame him. That is the smart. That is the right call. Yeah, absolutely. Zombri starting to chew up some uh, torpedo bombers. Once again, Mickey using the. If you guys this is look an arrow when... Go go go. If you look carefully. You can see on the mini map that the the shadows of our dead hulls. So Echo Two right there. You can see the two cruisers. Oh yeah. You can't see it. That's from when I rammed you. Now, let's uh, yeah, yeah. Let's... Now, this is an era when Minotaur's AA bubble was actually relevant in King of the Sea, right? This thing was an AA terror. Maybe you did. Still is. I was able to cast War Games 3 because yeah. of the reschedule. I had a commitment that weekend. Oh, Ishtar. Oh, right. Ishtar Stalingrad just takes half his HP from Storo's Yamato. Yamato's that. What was the last Yamato. time we saw Yamato in King of the Sea? They used to be everywhere. They did used to be everywhere. Well, I was going to comment that BN has gone for a 5-3 split here. They've got a tremendous amount Clicking of... Clicking on the minimap saying, hey, you got planes over here to, you got to clear out because those planes are spotting. They go in the backfield and they literally just spot mm -hmm. for their for their, uh, for mm -hmm. their team. The power of a carrier in King of the Sea in this era had nothing to do with the damage it could put out and everything to do with the information and spotting spotting it could provide for the team. has got to be priority target number one now after that big hit. I wonder if this is, if this is when Wargaming changed the dive bombers to AP bombers instead of HE bombers for the midway. That was beautiful. Not yet. Uh, in this okay. era, Midway's bombers are still AP. Um, no, they were HE last time. 
this looks like HE, or this looks like AP on the on the minimap. Uh, they are AP bombs. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so this this is after the change has come, but we're still before the rework. Correct. That's what I'm Obviously. saying. And because yeah. the last one, King of the Sea Five, Anamati was that was HE dive bombers. I recognize right. that. Right. Right. Some shots raining in on him, but he is quickly ducking into cover. Yep. Now we we didn't mention it, but Pyrrhus Gearing did manage to get back in and bag C. Be in picking up the first cap when you had to click on the mini map and your team had to figure out where exactly what? on the mini map you were clicking on. Not exactly? a little circle. Who's... Yeah. Amy Mendoza just took some. Some people had these crazy things. You know, if the number pad like seven is top left, right? So you like click on this seven, that square seven, and you had to know, okay, top left of that square, I need to go there. The battleship guns of uh, Rip doing really, really solid work here in the early stage of this match. Five minutes gone. As uh, they, BN has a very narrow lead, but both teams on the cap and moving up points. It's interesting just watching um, BN, their health just evaporate. Yeah, well, I mean, like for example here, Jaime, Jaime Mendoza moving up the moving up the nine line here in his Stalingrad. He knows there's a Hindenburg in front of him in gearing smoke. So if I'm him, my goal was to put my ship somewhere where that Hindenburg can't really do anything to me until the smoke is evaporated. I want to be able to fire back at that guy to fight back, but the audio sounds so weird. Health, continuing to move his ship in what way? Forward, and like when he's taking the hits, it's like boom, like, like this is yeah. just kind there's, of loud, bombastic yeah. thing. There's, there's that, there's that low, that low rumble. Like they've changed yeah. the audio of this game like five times, I think. <laughs> I think what he's trying to do is he's trying to, to block the this this, but he's taking a lot of hill, uh, hit points just to do that. Pierce Gearing has cut back across and is now just south of B. I'm wondering if he's going to be brave enough to try and get into the B cap, knowing there's a Minotaur up there. He is indeed. I wouldn't. He is indeed turning into the bottom of the bottom into B cap. The Minotaur spotted. These cruisers, these B and cruisers over on the three line are just getting hammered. And once again, we're seeing so much action unfolding. It's almost like we, we can't cover all of it. It's crazy. Torpedo is coming through the smoke at Sneaky. They fizzle. I think this is back when we used push to talk. I'm hearing myself cut out several times. <laughs> yeah. Again, the rip point gains, but goodness gracious, the amount of health that these cruisers way over on the, on the south of A have given up is just extreme. Most of them already yep. well below half health or lower. Oh, Zombri takes a big oh. hit there. More Stalingrad shells coming in. He does succeed in driving Pyrrha off the cap. And he prints himself a new ship, too. He pushes the button. Back when Stalingrad was, He's like, the ship. For a few seconds there, he took a massive hit. Well, I, I mean, Stalingrad in this era was probably a little op right this was before they had changed her oh a rare that's mistake by zomri you don't yeah, usually right. see him get knocked out like that no we would usually see him run around people shoot him for days i yep. mean kenny mod today that's that zombie yes. back then same, same idea today. right same yeah kenny kenny also a bit of a cruiser savant same idea off the board all last game they finally managed to do it here on sea of fortune that's a big loss for rip <laughs> It is. There's furious pinging now at three parts of the map. One where the gearing is. Two where the Montana is. So on now, line, now the the the, where the Amato is. Rip the team red here. They're that, in a. Uh, these they're scrambling, the right? Shot, they they're need the carrier to spot Pira to, to try and cap B. This is it. They lost their radar, so now it's going to take planes to spot him. They have to do this to try and prevent the cap. Gearing down into C as quickly as they can, in my opinion, anyway. Now Jaime Mendoza. I'm sure he didn't hear me, but he's definitely put his Stalingrad to a much better position. Not really. I'm sure he didn't hear me. <laughs> no, he didn't. He doesn't know what he can hear me. Well, five minute delay. Come on. So I just talked That's about him trying to get SAT in there, but he's going to be he's going to struggle to do it just because. See, Pira just got nuked by the HE bombs. Yep. They're shoving the booster into A. Zath, am I seeing this correctly? Yes, there he is. Yes, That's the question are. right there. Yep. And Blaze doesn't have a shot on it. Well, and you'll notice, who haven't we seen in a long time? SAT scores gearing hasn't been spotted in, like, five or eight minutes. And in a minute, I'm going to ask you, Zap, where's SAT? Shooting at him on this edge of the map for it to be any other way. He's burning and healing simultaneously. But BN's board position is very good, but they've given up a tremendous amount of health to achieve it. They own all the caps. 
right now, Rip not gaining any points at all as we approach the halfway mark of the match. Absolutely. Um, it's going to be, once again, we see, uh, you know, BN I getting the initial so start. And you know, we see Rip <laughs> just basically saying, We've gotten better over the guys, years. It's time to yeah. go in and take this now. And I, I tell you what, playing competitive against these guys, I've done this before, um, both in clan battles and uh, Supremacy League. That's their play style, and it, it lulls you into this false sense of, well, we got this. You know? Absolutely. Zath, where there is, is SAT score? We have not seen him in forever. Where is he? <laughs> SAT score is uh, working with Dastard right now. Um, he uh, just looks like he got uh, the smoke off on Sneaky, and now he's getting himself in a position to... I, I think what he's trying to do is block um, Pira from going up north through B and around. Well, Pira is not even interested in that. He's gone back down to the G line, moving due west. I think they're trying to get eyes on this Wooster that they know is in A. They're fishing for him, trying to get a reset. They know he's in there, but they don't know where. They haven't spotted him in a while. So one of the Hindenburgs, I think, I think it's the Hindenburg, or the Wooster is just lobbing shells in there, trying to get a reset. He's spotted now. They're calling for fire on him, but I don't think it's going to be in time. Shells inbound. Nope. Nope. Rip is going to bag this cap. That's points they desperately need as they're over 300 points down now with nine minutes to play. Yep, Blaze is spotted, so he's going to start taking some more damage, although he just popped his heel. You're also going to see yeah, the, the power of the carrier in a moment, right? Because as as Blaze is getting away. This Yamato on the bottom of the map it actually has an escape they path. He can just keep running. But what's going to end up happening is... Um, the yeah, Zedar carrier is going to send, I think, so two I'm torpedo squadrons all the way around Zedar down the left side of the map and be like, no, sir, you're not getting away. Here come shots. Yep. Um, He's got his the Amato seems to have more hit points than I remember it. I, I remember at one point it was nerfed. Uh, the heal was nerfed on it. I don't remember that. He used to, he used to have a heal kind of similar to Conqueror's where it would, it would, it would uh, reload pretty quick. And it was very hmm. difficult to kill a Yamato. Well, she has Yamato still has ninety seven thousand hit points from what I from what I recall. Okay. So Sword that sounds about right. Putting okay. pressure on. I couldn't remember if they ever changed the hit point pool. I do know that they changed I don't, the heal. I don't on think it. so. I was gonna go down by carrier. Here comes carefree. Here it is. With the... Oh, carefree. Like the are finally gonna finally get blaze Here off comes the, the cross drop. The power of no, he's gonna use both. Okay, yeah, like that. Nothing that the midway can do without dedicating an entire squadron just the defense of the Yamato. And they haven't done it. Yeah. So he goes down. That's right. He renamed himself to he achievements to you. Still not <laughs> yes. They're still up. Got a healthy lead with eight what minutes to play here. They are down on health. This is also one of the first tournaments where we had the health That's pool monitors up at the top of the screen. Cap, and I and I started integrating players. that into the commentary. Like they you can see, these guys are now down 65,000, 80,000 HP, whatever, later. right? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's yeah, in a gun. He's in a gunfight with the Wooster. That's ballsy, kids. As he smokes up now at the bottom end of B cap, continuing to lob shells onto the Wooster. Our victory is in sight. That's how badly they want me. You know, Chad is reminding me that also there were actual like there were actual nerfs done to ships as a result of certain ships quote unquote perceived to be overperforming in King of the Sea. And mm -hmm. I'd forgot about that, but he's hundred percent they're right. Like that was mm -hmm. a totally a thing. Yeah. King of the Sea exposed a lot of the in a, in in balance between some of the different ships. Yep. Yeah, no, it did. You're right. I, I, it's easy to forget that now, right? But 100% well, was real. Part of the reason why Puddin always says he wants to see subs and carriers allowed in King of the Sea. Let them come in. Let more gaming see the peak, if you will, of competitive play of those classes. Mm-hmm. BN moves with 150 points of victory here. Six and a half minutes to play on Warrior's wow. Path. Here are Rip. detected by radar now. Yep, here is radar into smoke. He's trading fire with SAT score, trying to at least damage him or drive him hey, back. Look, it's off SAT. The cap on his way out the door. Mm -hmm. Told you he was in here. He does mm -hmm. Actually, this might be Hydro. I'm not sure. It could be Hydro. The Wooster. See, we're not this sure about what the moments I've ever seen. Watch, watch, watch about team play. Watch this out. The Wooster is right here to murder this gearing. Watch how quickly the team reacts. And yeah. he's like, no. They get him. Wow. Pier is going to survive, nice. it looks like. <laughs> I've always loved that little moment. It's crazy. 
They were here before it. They, that was they were so they were like, no, no, that's our destroyer. Just Get away. That's, my, uh, and that's one of the hallmarks of Buenos the, Noches uh, is that they were Mermaid very, Mermaid. very good at team play. Like. That's right. Mm -hmm. Look at the little bit of drama over on the two line, Zaf. This Wooster is just mercilessly burning island sheep, Stalingrad to the ground. That's um, sweet justice, I it suppose. Is indeed, <laughs> it is indeed. Sweet Herbs justice. Hindenburg forced to retreat off of the A cap. Pira not able to defend B at the moment, although it looks like he's maybe trying. What is he doing? He's going for a torp run, I would think. So have a look. There's five minutes left to play. Yeah. BN is that has nearly 900 points, but now they're off all the caps. Five minutes to play on Warrior's Path. Dastert now driving right into the C cap, trying to make a play. They're going to get the Stalingrad on the two line. Look at him. Yep. And Jamie's going to go down too. Is he? Well, he's at 5k Ooh, he's right at 5K now. 5k and running. There's the kill. Our victory is inside. Jamie, probably the next ship to go out here. It's going to be close. Oop. He's continuing no fire. to fire. I think he's just decided it's worth resetting the Montana to, to keep uh, to keep them from bagging C. 930. Mm -hmm. Be in now less than 70. Only 70 points from victory, but not gaining points any other We're way. all right in this now. corner of the map. Jamie yeah, they've all been herded shells. down into that southeast that. quadrant. 1,200, though. He can't dodge at all. Sneaky Sindenberg crawling but up But they actually, at the moment, they the still board. have a ship lead. Yeah. Like a massive uh, points lead. Oh, he dodges those, though. <laughs> Here come the Torps in on Dastard. Oh, my goodness. He dodges the first salvo. I think he's going to take one. Just one two. out of the second. Two, two out of the second. Oh. They do I finally back down. Jamie. A lot of focus fire on Dastard here in C. Is he flooding? No, he, he put it all out, he's, but he's under 12k. Yep. Um, a hit was put on here for Augustin. We'll see if uh, ZR is able, Rip is able to get the shots in well, on let's him. Let's see. Four minutes to play here on Warrior's Path. The game very much still in doubt for both sides, despite B and having a solid lead. So when I say a hit, I'm he saying that they're clicking on him or they're F3ing on him because mm -hmm. we can see what they're... Yeah. They're doing on the minimap. Ogs is in a right. really, really perilous position right he now. He is. He's pinned between a on the airplanes. <laughs> Pira just got discovered. Um, guessing by planes. Yeah. They're trying to get Dastard. Yeah. Kaiser see, look at the look at look at the midway trying to bring in a torpedo strike on Dastard, who's beached. Right. Yeah. And the fighters yeah. are just chewing him up. Yeah. To land the shells on August if they want this Meanwhile, game. you could see the Kuryu planes made of paper folded one thousand times. They just Nine disappeared. Yep. Burb and A now getting tag teamed by Wooster and oh, There's that Wooster again. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. That Wooster they couldn't kill on the two line coming back yeah. to haunt him. Finally yeah. does August. Now, I, now they're tied up on ships. Now it's 5v5. Right is, he, is he burning? Yeah. No. I really enjoy playing range Wooster and oh, randoms. It's kind of fun. No, we have no eyes One on more him. shot. Dastard is under him. 750 HP in that hair. Oh, Nobody can see, see him. him. Here, though, they're definitely going to get him. What? Now it's like, fight. now it's the panicky. Where's the next play coming? Gotta look all over the place for it. Yep. Hero trying to rotate back to A, spotted. Ooh, SAT with the potential hero play. What? I love how you keep looking. Like, wait. You hear that? He's back at 16,000. You're like, what's his health? What's Dastard's health? Yeah, I keep having to ask. I can't see him. Yeah. I think, I think he's decided he's just going to go out with a with a bomb oh, and, and get SAT. Mistake on Hero's side. A minute ago, they were 70 oh, points from winning. Now look how close ZR has closed the gap. And we saw that this morning on EU. Mm -hmm. And being tied on ships. Oh, if he comes out right in front of Daster. Oh, yep. And Rip is about to take the lead point-wise with only two minutes to go. Less than two yeah. minutes to go. Game timer is a big factor in this one, too. As yeah. Kaiser Kraken's Wooster is going to charge SAT score in the cap, I assume. I don't think he's got any other plays here. The game will be tied momentarily with 90 seconds to play. Oh, Dastard takes a solid hit, but that's just the forward guns. Here's the stern guns. Not enough. Not enough. Island says no. Rip with a 10 point leading, growing on the strength of their cap control here. 90 seconds to play on Warrior's Path. They're using the Wooster in A to shell God. SAT score in B <laughs> and kill him. Right over wow. the island. Right that saddle. The island. Wow. Kaiser must have him on Hydro. There goes Daster. There goes Daster. Whoa, Daster with the oh, he's gonna drive right into sea. Sneaky's probably gonna try for a torpedo charge. It's about the only play I think he's got right now. 
Yes. Wild Hindenburg appears. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, is he going to back up and get the torps? Rip clinging to a game here. They're not out yet, but man, is it going to be close. Oh. There goes SAT score. My SAT. Wooshed point blank range. Kind of only ends one way. Mm -hmm. Sneaky coming in for the torpedo charge. Here comes the AP through the bow. Decent hit, but it's not going to be enough. Hindenburg's armor shrugs off enough of it. He's going to get close. It's him and the Hakuryu left. What is this turn? What an amazing game, Zaf. Both teams just throwing everything they have at each other here. Yeah. Sneaky uh, showing a bitter side there, but... I, I think Sneaky's going to get this kill. Oh, there's he's the Torps. Kill. Yes. Here come the Torps. Oh, he's, oh. oh man, he's going to get robbed to he do it. He gets savaged on the way out. He's just going to try and burn him out now. And look at that. There's still only 20 points between yeah. the two teams until yeah. that moment, the and the timer ends. Right as the timer <laughs> ends. What, what, a game. what a game. At the Holy time, cow. we had never seen a game quite like this one in the sense mm. of the back and forth, how close, how ZR was able to get back in. It made for an amazing, amazing game to watch and to cast. And yeah. um, our last game of the day is also on Sea of Fortune, which is one of the reasons that I absolutely adore this map because we have seen so many crazy games on Sea of Fortune. You know, I noticed you you picked a lot of those. Yeah, so well, are you the, ready the, to? The, we can what? we can move on to the last one if you want. I'm gonna let you preface this one if you want because this is this is King of the C10, and this is the showdown that everybody waited forever for. Yeah, literally forever. So um, yep. I, I don't remember who FIM was. This is Guy um, Shu's team yes, in that's King right. of the C10. So this okay. is this yep. is now okay. I gotta get my dates right. Um, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is spring of 2020. This is probably yeah. April of 2020. You and I are ca are hosting the NA finals yep. from our yep. homes because yep. world of pandemia. I can right? see my we I can see my background right there. We were supposed to go to Austin to do this cast, and they, right. and of course, obviously, we pulled the plug on the whole thing. This is back when when we were the only ones who would dress up in shirt and tie, and mm -hmm. nobody else would do it. And yep. you kept shaming people to do it. I, I, I don't know if you know this or not, Raptor, but Revan is still doing it. He was wearing a him. shirt and tie today. Good for <laughs> him. Stream, Good so. for him. Um, but yeah, this was the showdown that that mm -hmm. everybody wanted, right? The two, mm -hmm. the two best known teams on the yeah. NA server squaring off in the finals. And here we are, game five, winner take all. Yep. And this and is one of the best finals games. We've ever had. And when Gaishu came in, um, the, the the strategies that that team employed took the world by storm, at least the, the mm -hmm. region by storm. Nobody had ever seen or thought of the ship comps, the, you know, the, the mm -hmm. positioning and how they ebbed and flowed. It was a dance to watch them play. 07 was all it was similar in a different way. 07 always felt like they were the brawler that you, you see, like winning bar fights all the time. And, and they found ways to just just pull pull victories out of like how did they do that kind how did of this things. happen yes yes so that that's yes. what 07 became really well known for for those of you guys who don't who have never really seen them in cots and eventually they became they became well known for the reverse sweep as well so going down losing two games immediately in a best of five and then winning three in a row to bring it back some of the most entertaining entire series is, have been watching 07 play so this is um, also an in, there's also a little more drama in this game, right? Because King, King 07 won King of the C5, mm -hmm. King of the C7 mm -hmm. and King of the C9. But mm -hmm. they had never been able to go back to back, right? And right. so here we are dead last their last chance to pull this off. Are they going to finally go back to back or are they going to keep losing even numbered Kings of the Sea? <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, are you ready to go? Count us down. Let's go. All right, so in three, two, one, go. I got to turn this one down to spell. The, this, the volume on this one's quite high. Yes. Um, oh, look at the prize pool. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> oh, yeah. And then we, we, we got the we got the best of five screens. Some of that figured out. Mm hmm. 
Now this is Double O Duke, yes. Stage for a clash of enemy fleets. This idle exciting will soon be shattered by the thunder of guns and flash. So this is after was... Wargaming took over doing the video work for these. Right. Right. And what they started doing was having personalities who were involved in King of the Sea voice right. them. Um, so right. not just the casters, but also the adjudicators right. and, and, and whatnot. And Duke was well right. known for so, programming in stuff. So what I was doing in this era was I was writing the scripts. Mm -hmm. I was asking people to do the voiceovers. Mm -hmm. um, they would do the voiceover work, send it to me, and I would pass it to Conway, who would give it to the, uh, the video team in Russia, and they mm -hmm. would do all of this work behind it. So right. this was an era that I got Jingles to do one. You did one. I did one. I think Stats Bloke did one. We had a lot of yes. fun with it. Oh, we did. We did. Yeah. And it, it turned out to be really good, really popular. A lot of the a lot of the viewers just really enjoyed having these little previews of stuff and said, we want to see more of this. I, I so. like them because they give you a nice clean transition and they give you a little mm -hmm. a little preview of what you're about to see. Mm hmm. Put them. King of the C10. That's right. We've gone all the way to the wire. Both teams playing their guts out. And we've gone all the way to game five. Winner take all. 07 zoning in on the north side here of Sea of Fortune. Coming to the dance with double Montana, triple Des Moines, Hindenburg. We've seen a very similar lineup from them before. Adding that, Venezia, Daring, and Shimakaze. This was also oh. an era. Yeah, and over on the FI. Hang on, I'll shut up and let you talk. Ohio, Go ahead. Kremlin. Double Des Moines, Venezia, double Smolensk this time. And now we're down to two destroyers as well. Summers and Dare. Indeed, both teams opting to drop to There's Zombri again. On sea of yep. One of the, one, this was like, I think this is the only King of the Sea that Smolensk was, elite, was legal. I think after this, it was always on the naughty list. Like, we don't ever want to see that crap again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This was also one of the first tournaments I remember distinctly seeing people change their names to stuff to troll us. We saw him as casters. Now here we're seeing this iteration of Zombri in a Smolensk. Yeah, they, they want us to say their name because it's a funny name. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> because it's ridiculous. Well, and you've also got FIM, I think, also at one point. They're not in this match. No, they do. They are. They have two different Kelsiers. They have a Kelsier 1 and a Kelsier 3, and I'm just like, ah. final form was Colbert. I never considered that. That's horrible. And I see no carrier, so at this point, <laughs> carriers were horrifying. removed from... From the competition. Also, I, I need to yes. apologize for a moment to my chat for uh, the rework king, happened. Spoiling. Yeah, King of the Sea 8 was the last King of the Sea that had carriers. It was right after the rework and it was an abject disaster. And we never, at that point, we we never took, we never let oh, carriers no. back in. It was like, nah. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that, Zath. That's funny. Yeah, we, we all knew we, 07 was winning anyway at that point. Well, that's, well we, you know, it's funny to note that we didn't spin that long in the in the training room between games, right? That was, we were oh, like, what, three minutes? And it was like, let's get this done. <laughs> and I think that, that was kind of the reason I had sent it was I wanted them to know, don't get up, you know, like. Yep. Game five starting pretty quick here. Now, let's let's talk for a minute about, about FIM. We saw FIM play this map earlier. They played it with Woosh, the Woosh, Wooster Smolensk kind of death snail up the one line. They can't do that this time. No, Wooster's on the ban list. Um, and so they're, they've are they opted for Gaishu in a Des Moines, sticking with the Interesting that by now we also have bans. I'd forgotten when that got introduced. Before, it came so along yes. somewhere. Same with the exception yes. of Gaishu's in a different ship. But I think it was only NA that did it. Yes, first, NA was the first, NA were absolutely the first people to introduce bans. Matsukaze discovered by radar. Indeed. By virginity. virginity pops his radar there, gets you a You can also see we finally have God mode. That came in King of the C9. We now actually have spectator mode. We have the ability to see both teams at the same time. This is only the second King of the C we had this functionality. And we don't have to ram each other anymore. They lose virginity briefly, yes. but he comes back. Actually, up now that I think about it, I think it only Bravo came in the last. I keep came in the last week of King of the C9. Yes. So this was the first time we like had it for the entire to tournament. Dark as he turns towards so you all island. understand this all came about because one person in Wargaming C Petersburg took a liking to King of the Sea, and she said, "I want to make this better." So she took on the task of adding a spectator mode into the game, as well as so many other improvements. And we all miss her very, de very dearly. It's great we to meet you, her. We miss you, Mimi Missile. We miss you. It was great to meet her in person. <laughs> it was. At, at it was. It was awesome to meet her in St. Pete five years ago at the last CC Summit. Um, 
we but I remember getting there. She grabbed, I think, you, me, Flambass, Flamu, and maybe one, I think Penguin. And we sat in a room and she talked to us and showed us spectator mode for the first time. And everybody's head went. <laughs> it was amazing. It was like, yeah. Yep. yep. Wargaming culture. So, so you guys understand Wargaming's culture is you have your tasks that you've been assigned. And then if you see an area that needs improvement and you want it, go for it. So yeah. Mimi saw that and said, I'm going to add this to my plates. I'm going to take on this piece and I'm going to make it mine and my personal pet project. Um, mm -hmm. Pigeon of War did the same thing with the wiki. He said, I, I see the wiki. I want to make it my pet project. And, and he turned it into what it is today. Mm -hmm. No, I think... Um... So this is one of those, you know, we, we saw that the 07 Des Moines get smacked early. This is one of those like, hmm... That error didn't have to happen, and yet here we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Spot Amatsukaze doesn't have a lot. I remember. I remember Chad at this point. A whole lot of people were already down on 07. Like, oh, they've already lost. They threw the ship away. It's over. You know, there's no way FIM is going to let him get away with that. You know. And then Pizza takes a torpedo backing in mm -hmm. with his daring of all ships. With a daring. Mm-hmm. had healed. Look at what's happening in mid. A Des Moines is capping. Mid. Doyle is capping mid in a Des Moines. Oh, that's Doyle that's for you. how that's how passive FIM is playing this game in the early going very quickly 07 will be able to recoup that early deficit by owning all of the caps and by the way this is this is at a time when it was very common that teams didn't seem to care about caps they would just mm -hmm. wait a bit and then let let one team take up and, and then wait for for the team to push and make a mistake mm -hmm. I don't think they'll get him but he's going to drop probably down to about 1,000 HP or so before that fire finally goes out. His engines are broken, too. Both both FIM destroyers, Zaf, are horribly gutted. Look at them. Yeah, oh, Summers. Look at that. Kelsier is in a Summers. One of the only times you got to play Summers in this event, too. Yeah. The Matsukaze pops a heal is back up to 4K, at least. He's got a little bit of breathing room, but goodness... I'm not sure what they did to Kelsier, but he is just, he just got hammered. Six and a half minutes gone here on Sea of Fortune 07 with complete board control, despite losing one of their Des Moines very early here, way over on the three line. Hmm. Now we're starting to see the FIM push roll up the two line with the, the, the kind of the doom snail, right? The Des Moines, the Smolensk. All this sort of thing. I should just got smacked in the face by he, the table. He did. PQ PQ is under a tremendous amount of HE spam, but he's not letting it get to him. He's continuing to fight back. Smacking Gaishu in the face with his AP. Probably about to do the same again, or at least either hit him or Turkish. Not sure who he can see. Look how quickly these guys are getting. They own all the caps. The Gaishu points are just hard. racking up. Two points a second. Spotting, actually. Four minutes to a win already, and you're you're barely into the game. And this is back to where you you still kept the old like, here's the view what we used to see, and then now you're flipping back and forth. I, I would toggle it around a little bit because I yeah I don't do that as much anymore. But in this area, mm -hmm. it was still so new to me. I played with it some. Mm -hmm. But they're kind of very balanced on a razor's edge. Zath, either one of these destroyers gets spotted. They're going to lose points that they can't afford to give up. No, absolutely not. 07's on a 200-point lead and growing here. FIM's still not into A. They're close, but they're not quite there. Okay, here comes here comes the friendship. <laughs> yes. Here we're... Please allow us to demonstrate our friendship. Please accept these shells as a symbol of my friendship. <laughs> He gets a salvo off on Pullycat's Hindi. Eh, some chip damage. Potato quality, there he is. Mm-hmm. Still around? Oh, yeah. Work right now, but I'm willing to bet him out some PQ, ends, PQ ends up being one of the heroes of this game. Keep watching. 
He turned mm -hmm. to the inside. He's running into the inside gap here like he's going to go to the B cap. Now, this is one of the things that I love about Sea of Fortune. These caps are, this is one of the reasons this map plays so fast. These caps are smashed together and you've got these little passages straight from one to the other. It, this map will flip on a dime. It's so much fun to cast. This cap without being, even if they're radared, they won't have shells on it, right? He's got a spot over here. Bullet Cat with the brilliantly timed reset on Kazakh. Did they get a reset? So they did. Got a full reset on him. Yep, twice now. It's interesting. Yeah, Earlier we saw Pulley in a destroyer. Now you're seeing Pulley in a Hindenburg. Getting resets on Kazakh as Turkish is now in the cap, finally. Matsukazi trying to reverse into B. MF Jones now is in the top end of B. These guys are both about to discover that somebody's in this cap. Yep, neither side has any vision on the other. This is an era, of course, before we had the goofy vision mods that told us when a ship was spotted, so you had to manually toggle to know who could spot who. Matsukaze is now, but it may not do them any good. Yep, yep. Jones is now we can hit the alt key. We can see ranges of radars and hydros. Mm -hmm. The only thing this you can see about... consumables monitor. Yeah, the only thing you can see about spotting is just a, the, the light on the right side or left side of the, the team panel. Right. But... Yeah, but that just tells you who's currently spot. Yeah, it tells you who's currently yeah. spotted. Yeah. And that's it. But you have to be like really looking back and forth Look to see that. Kelsey yeah. Reese position in the summers. Look how far up he's pushed. That is very, very gutsy. All by himself, way up here on the D line. This game is also infamous for having a couple of fairly important 07 mistakes near the end. So keep your eyes open. I remember when they happened, they got, they got people who were like, what the hell? It was really entertaining. They know where Amatsukazi is. They don't, they don't, not able to do anything about it right now. He, either he or Kazakh does finally step back onto B. Looks like, yep, that is Amatsukazi. Kazakh's just chilling out in that gap. Kazakh's mm. going to take some torpedoes. No, he's Daring. fine. Well, no, I th oh, he, nope. he pulled his engine up. The conga Once line. Kazakh probably had hydro up. doesn't get there. We don't know. As FIM <laughs> swarms through the A cap, trying to move to the center of the map, where they now. So you see those torpedoes that all just went by BFK. He took one. Let's see what happens here. Watch what happens to Jones. BFK seeing torpedoes go yeah, by. He might be a, a second ahead of me. Knows the Summers is now north of him, hilariously, or at least due west of him. Sorry, due east. Got Jones caught is out. Is he going to take, tor take a torpedo? He's been spotted. That's huge. That's huge. It's a huge kill. That is. They didn't know he Ouch. was there. Ouch. Looked Those like torpedoes they're... were aimed at BFK. They were. They missed. I, I got to think that that salvo was spotted by BFK. At least some of those torpedoes. Yeah, yeah. That's a huge misplay, I think. That narrows the gap a bit. Well, a bit. It is still about 350 points. Ticking the other way. 07 upside down, two ships. Still trading well. They are up on health, believe it or not. As FIM swarms into the B cap and now basically just has to hold what they have. To kind of to kind of have a really good shot at winning the game as as this, the Yamamoto Smolens now onto the bottom end of C. I'm really shocked, yeah, not Zath. Just winning the game, winning the tournament. For well, NA. yeah, winning the whole thing. On any side, I should say. Yeah, I'm really wow. I'm really surprised that, that they haven't been able to do anything with these low health destroyers. BFK is going to dodge all these torps again. Zach is getting smoked now by Matsukaze. He is indeed. That's going to let him get across the cap, but he can't fire while he's in there. Or he'll still get spotted by pieces of pizza. Yeah, Wild that at this point, C. take a look at the caps now. 07 has no more point gain. They're mm -hmm. about to lose C. Indeed. And on top of that, they're down two ships. C. 07 kind of relinquish yep. things like this. I realize it's, oh, guys, you're getting hammered there by BFK's <laughs> AP. I was saying, I'm a little surprised to see them relinquish this, but at the same time, when you're down ships, it makes it harder to hold on to things. Yeah, I think Gaishu poked Gaishu a getting focused, BFK getting focused. I think we're I think they're gonna trade Des Moines here. Gaishu's on eighteen hundred. BFK trying to cling to life. This is gonna it's be a pivotal good. kill. BFK pops oh, there goes Gaishu. Radar before he goes out. The Venezia shells don't really connect. BFK does finally get good cover. Mm. Nah, they're they're gonna he's gonna burn out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A few more ticks, he'll be out. 
So now look at the score, look at the caps, right? Yeah. That yeah, yeah. That's the 07 lead. It's all you. Less than 100 points, and FIM owns all the caps. And so at this yeah, moment, seven, six and a half minutes to play, seven, in my brain, have, I'm, I'm like, I'm surprised they've allowed this to happen. It's over. And at this moment, in my mind, I'm they thinking, all right, 07 is going to say, flip the switch. It's time to play the game. Because <laughs> that's what they did. That's what they did. They, mm -hmm. they, they'd back up to a corner and you'd be like, mm -hmm. like you said, okay, these guys are out. What the hell is wrong with them? And then mm -hmm. out of nowhere, this person dies, that person dies, blah, blah, blah. And they have effect. to get on a, kipper, a cap or bag of kill. I'm not sure Pete's play here. He's going for the top end of the B cap. Can he step on it and slow down the bleeding? I don't know. We have had a lead change here. The conga line torpedoes on Kazakh could be really impactful in a little bit. We'll have to see. No, they're not going to hit him. I don't Kazakh think. So. I don't think so. Less than two minutes on the timer. 07 looking really strong earlier, but they've got it. Oh, there we go. They got good hits into Kazakh. They need that badly. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to get him, Zath. See? They yep. do. That's all it takes. Flips the lead back one one thing. Instant pieces, a pizza one step. kill. They get pieces they get into Doyle. B, but they lose Gosh, Doyle. Tag team Doyle with a beautiful salvos there, and that flips the lead back. Wow. B cap do won't Kelsier do it. One is, do you think Kelsey or one is Coco Mango? I have no idea. I think so. Could be. The B cap won't do it. The B cap only lengthens the game. To this day, I don't know who Kelsey or one and three are. <laughs> They're going to have to get onto the C cap. Williams pushing that direction. They seem to know it. Now, check out the position of the DM in the Smolensk, Zap. Look at where Zombri is. Yep. I mean, PQ has yep. been doing what he can. Now he's got a Des Moines in his face and a Smolensk on his flank. The Smolensk isn't spotted. They don't know where he is. And that makes perfect sense. You you, you wrap ship around, right now you, is the you Ohio. prevent them from the movement. You can smoke up and farm well, if you need to. On him, spamming him with shells. <laughs> what? Still 90 seconds on the timer. One of the guys in chat's like, that was my Des Moines. I was like, well, there you go. That's what it is. Pizza's <laughs> going for the A cap. That'll lengthen things a bit further. At the same time, it looks like they're going to drive William into C. So all of this is kind of coming to a head here for 07. FIM within 100 points of victory. 07 in their bid to become the first back-to-back -back champion on NA wow, up against the, up against the camo. wall here. Mm -hmm. Trying to make yeah, it come we're... together in the final moments of Game 5. Now look at Kelsier 1. Look how low he is, Zath. 600 wow. HP, 6 320. He's burning. He's out. Oh, big kill right points there. That, oh, points that 07 yep. desperately needs. That gives them breathing room. That pushes the timer back to 90 But seconds. the only reason yeah. this works is because, on again, the caps are so moment. close together. Pizza, pizza just goes out of B and dunks right into A. Just as before, Turkish and what the two does. ships that could defend it have all left and effed off somewhere else. PQ well, they're too busy on PQ. Right? Exactly. Zombri. They're not Zombri. Whoever the Des Moines is. Turkish. Want. Mm -hmm. So now he's in a They've been told zombie. kill the Montana. They haven't mm -hmm. been told to defend A cap. Mm -hmm. Both 07 battleships are very low. The Venezia salvo goes. We didn't out. see any. We haven't seen any dank salvos this game. It's we unusual because he was well known for whacking mm -hmm. things with his Montana. Doing. Get a little bit out of it. William now 12,000 yeah. HP, but there's three ships now in the uh -oh. sea cap. They're basically. Cool. They're going to lose William. They're gonna and they're, lose William. Yeah, they're, they're using him as a William. sponge so the, but, so the cruisers can cap. But look at, look at Pulley and, and the Venezia gaming for Jesus and even Pisa Pizza oh opening up with his, with his daring there's your, to kill there's, that Demorian. There's your dank salvo, by the way. He just killed Turkish at like 20 kilometers. On the timer. Now yep. we're back out to about a minute 15. That's what we're used to seeing. Oh God. <laughs> you heard my voice. <laughs> the whole board, even though they're down a ship. But it might not matter because now Pulley and these guys, the Pulley's got to get cover. They're going to kill him. Oh, game return. He's got to get out of there. Yeah, they flipped after they owned the whole board. Oh, they lost the whole the board lead. and they that recaptured the whole board. Easted. A minute mm -hmm. 45 to go. If they can keep Pulley on the board, 
They will win in 40 seconds if Pulley dies. It lengthens the timer. But at the moment, just like what happened to FIM, I'm sorry, just what happened to 07 earlier, FIM has been pushed back off all the caps. Zombri's not in a position to do anything about a cap. Sorry. 28 seconds. We got that Kelsey score timer mod now. Is running mm -hmm. the cap, but Pieces of Pizza's Wait. headed back there to meet him. Pulley's going out. They're going to get him. Time extension. That flips the lead. Lead change. Once again, but yeah, but, it, but look at, look at Pizza right and Kelsier. Seconds. Yes. And yes. You know this is coming. 65 wow. seconds in the match. Gee, I wonder who's going to win that. On a 10 point lead. Oh my God. This is amazing. Pieces of Pizza is literally sitting in the B cap waiting for Kelsier to show up. <laughs> waiting for it, Zaf. He knows. He knows what has to happen here. Look how low potato quality is. PQ on 2300 HP. Called it. PQ, one of the heroes of this game. Staying yeah. alive. Yeah. Pizza not, is not dying. Screw it. I'm not risking it. I'm Sometimes not risking it. that's all it takes. It's just survival. Left. Time is ticking away. If he Zach. dies, it's time that the other team has to step onto some of these caps. So they're they're gonna just about it, to be. Or they're see, gonna I mean. They're going to do it. 07 is going to become the first back-to-back -back COTS champion on North America. Oh, amazing what a game. game. <laughs> that was. I almost thought they weren't going to do it. That was, that was game five of a hell of a series, right? Yeah. So speaking of games, uh, we have eight we minutes probably, until we, yeah, our schedule. We should probably uh, we should probably get prepped and get in there. So chat, hope you guys enjoyed that on either of our channels. Please give us feedback if possible on our respective discords. It would really help. Uh, any suggestions, whatever uh, we can do to improve things, um, please let us know. But in the meantime, we're gonna have to get prepped and ready for our uh, best of five that we're bringing you coming up i'm gonna run a commercial break you might want to do that as well raptor just to get mm, that out of call. the way we've got seven minutes to go